Hey y'all, glad you came. I'm Monique, welcome and welcome back. This video is a continuation of part one of my Sephora VIB Spring Sales Event. So this is part two, and in this video, I'm gonna be doing mostly makeup, and in particular, Sephora brand makeup, because within the sales event, the highest percentage off is actually for the Sephora brand, being 30% off of Sephora products. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the makeup products that I purchased. All right, so first up is my favorite, which is going to be all of my lipsticks, right? So when I say all of, I only mean three. So I got the Sephora Soft Matte and Easy Matte Lip Colors in three different shades, number 10, 11, and 14. And I love them all. If you watched my previous video, part one, you'll see me actually wearing number 14. But today I'm actually wearing number 11, which is more of a skin tone look for me, and I really like this. And then also I have a brighter red. I haven't tried it yet, but I know I'm gonna love it. Now one thing I wanna say about these in particular is that when you put them on, they feel like water, like cool water. It's a very thin consistency. But I promise you that it does dry down, and when it does dry down, it's just exactly what it says, soft and easy matte. So it's a very soft going on, it's very easy, it does not dry the skin on my lips out, which is a win-win when it comes to having a matte lipstick, because as you know, a lot of matte colors actually dehydrate the skin on the lips, but this does not do that. It goes on like water, it dries down, and it stays on for a long time. So I think these are really good if you're looking for a matte lipstick that is affordable and that definitely has a great pigment and that will not dry out your lips. All right, so next up we have face products, right? So if you watch part one, you actually saw me talk about the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. One of the things I like about it that I didn't mention in the last video was the three facts on the back that make me like it even more. It says no melting, no fading, and no creasing. And those are some really good claims that it actually lives up to. So there you have it. It's back again for honorable mention. All right, and so after that, we have the Sephora Colorful Luminizer. Now I got this because I love highlighters and ones that actually highlight. Nothing worse than actually buying a highlighter, putting it on your face and you can't see it, it disappears. Who wants that, right? You do want a glow, that's why you buy it. So I'm more of a fan of powdered glows. I'm trying to get into some of the more liquid glows, but I find that the liquid glows can be either too much or too little. But powder is like just enough. It's easy for me to measure, right? But anyway, this is the one that I have and I really love it. I have it on right now. My nose right here and right here. So I think it's nice. I think people actually use it up here too, but I am not a makeup professional, so therefore <laughs> I barely know how to use it. <laughs> but I do think that it is a good thing to look into if you're looking for a luminizer or a highlighter that actually does just that. The next thing I got is the Sephora Color Shifter Strange Botanicals. Now I actually got a Sephora palette in the last sale as well, but that one is six months old. So this palette is kind of cool. It's different. I thought it was perfect for spring. These colors are like really bright and bold. And I actually have the bottom one on here on my eyelid. I have this top glitter based shade in my inner corner here. I can kind of scoot in so maybe you guys can see it. I'm not really sure if you can see it or not. But anyway, that is the Sephora Color Shifter Strange Botanicals and it's a cute little package and you can just do this right here. Super cute, super affordable. Like a really, really good price. And again, it's 30% off. And this is gonna last me for six months or a little bit more. So yeah, definitely a palette to look into. They actually have two other palettes within that line of palettes. I just picked that one because I like those colors. But go in store, see what you like, or even go online, see what you like. But I do say that they are well pigmented and they went on my skin really well. And the one that I had before lasted a long time and I believe this one will last just as long, if not longer, all right? So with that being said, with eyeshadow, we're gonna talk about now eyes. So the first thing that I got was Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer in Original. One thing that I did not remember from when I bought this 
many, many, many years ago, <laughs> is that when I bought it a long time ago, it had like a little nozzle on it. You can actually squeeze. But now they have this thing here. Let's see if you can actually focus on that. You see that? So that's how you actually apply it now. I'm not sure which one I like better. Personally, I think I like the one that you would squeeze out, but this works too. I'm more of a fan of anything around the eye area. I like it to be something I can control with my finger where I don't have to use an applicator coming in and out of the makeup. I feel like this just contributes to uh, bacteria, it can. So you have to make sure that you're really clean when you're using anything like this package like this. But anyway, the product itself is really good. And so it is the original one, the one from back in the day that I used to get. And I have it on now under my eyeshadow. It helps your eyeshadow not to crease. That's the biggest thing. And it helps the eyeshadow to actually stand out even more. So I really like it for that purpose. And it is something that is trusted, has been around for a very long time. And we probably all have purchased it way more than one time. So I'm happy with this purchase. All right, so next up are the eyeliners. So I actually have a colorful eyeliner. It is the Sephora 12 Hour Retractable Eyeliner in Shimmer Aqua. So hopefully it shows up on camera. It kind of matches the pillow I have back here too. It's kind of like a, a turquoise, if you can see that. Let's see if I can lean in a little bit. If you can see. And so I really love this. I'm gonna go ahead and open it so you guys can see. And hopefully the camera will catch it. Let's see. Yeah, there you go. Really pretty color aqua. I love green, so it kind of matches a green vibe. It looks, it's called aqua, kind of looks blue, but also green, if that makes sense. I like it. Goes on very smooth, okay? The next thing up is going to be the Sephora Colorful Crayon Contour Eye Pencil. That's this one right here. I do not have this one on, because I actually have on the other one. But this one is black. There we go. So that is black, as you can see. And this one is another one that's actually waterproof. And it is like that crayon smooth feeling. Like when I tried it on in the store, it just like glides onto your skin. So I love that. And then next up, we have the Sephora Eyeliner Liquid Intense Ink Liner. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this so you can see the applicator. There we have it. And this stuff lasts a long time and it actually stays on really well too. So I have this on too, as you can see. And I really do like it. Stays on, it doesn't smudge. I find that when I put this on over my eye makeup, like if I put my primer on first, my eyeshadow primer, I put on my eyeshadow and then I put this on, I feel like I have a much more stable line. And to me, it just glides on smoother than just putting it directly onto my skin. So if you have trouble, like a shaky hand, or you think it just smudges a lot, try to put it on over your eyeshadow and see if that works a little bit better, like once you finish your face and then put on your eyeliner. Again, I'm not an MUA. I'm not a makeup artist. <laughs> I'm just a girl who likes makeup, right? But that's just like a tip. If you're like me, you have a shaky hand. So there you have it. All right, and so next up, I actually showed these two in the other video, but I'm gonna show this one again. This is the Insta Brow Waxy Brow Pencil. This is a win-win, y'all. Like, I love this, and I have the other pencil that goes with it as well, but I find myself actually reaching for this one a little bit more than the thinner pencil. I love the consistency. I love the way it goes on. I have it on now, like a natural brow look. That's the look I'm going for, is like natural, bushy brow. But this is the dispenser. So when you get it, this is what it will look like, okay? And I really like this. I have tried a lot of different brow pencils and out of all of them, I prefer something like this with a waxier consistency that really keeps the brow in place. So there you have it. Those are my brows here. Like I said, like a natural, thick, bushy eyebrow look with a little bit of shape. That's what I was going for. All right, and so next up is the actual skin product. I made reference to it in the other video, but I actually have it in this video. And so it is a Sephora Peptide Firm Cream. The reason I got this is I actually do love the peptide cream I already have. I have one by the brand CeraVe, and I like that one, but there's a certain ingredient that I was looking for in this one, so I bought this one. And this is what it looks like. So you guys can see. It is white, as you can see. And the fragrance is 
not even there, no fragrance, love that. I love something that has great ingredients and no fragrance, it's less irritating to my skin. This is gonna be primarily used at nighttime, okay? So that's why I am actually purchasing this. So, that is that. As far as the ingredient that it has in it, of course it's peptides. And it has some more things in here too that are really good, including the jojoba seed oil. I really do like that. Has some triglycerides, some fatty acids in here, really good for the skin. So like I said, they have a few more ingredients that I actually like in this one, especially some of the oils too, like the sunflower seed oil, the jojoba seed oil. So definitely get the box and read the back and see what you think about it. But this is something that I'm excited to use at nighttime with my PM skincare routine. All right, so last but not least is a fragrance. This is the Nest Sunkissed Hibiscus and it smells really good. And to me, it has a really good staying power. So if you spray this, just know you're gonna smell like this for a good amount of time and other people are gonna smell you. So if you have friends and family that are sensitive to fragrance, just be careful. Don't spray this a whole lot because it will stay. It will stay. <laughs> Trust me, I sprayed it on my coat and uh, spray a little bit too much. And yeah, so I had to kind of get it out of my coat, but that's just proof that it actually works and the staying power is there. So that's all I have for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know if you have any recommendations, if you have some of the things that I've showed here today, that I've shared here today. And as usual, I hope you guys have a well moisturized and sun protected rest of your day.